First up, we have Pikmin 4, a game that Nintendo took some risks with and boy did it pay off. This game feels bigger, busier, and noisier than ever before, and everything that's been added works superbly well. From the new Pikmin types to upgradable abilities, and even the return of the beloved dungeons, Pikmin 4 brings back the best parts of the series, especially those from Pikmin 2. The underground caverns and lairs that you'll explore in Pikmin 4 provide the most challenging aspects of the game. With focused puzzles and exciting boss battles, these areas offer a thrilling experience for players. And let's not forget about the stunning visuals. Whether you're playing in docked or handheld mode, the depth of field effects and creative designs of enemies make Pikmin 4 one of the best looking games on the Switch. Next on our list is Lil Gator Game. This charming game follows the story of a young gator and his older sister, who used to play video game-inspired adventures together. But as they grow up, the sister starts focusing more on schoolwork, leaving Lil Gator feeling frustrated. Determined to bring back the fun, Lil Gator enlists the help of his friends to create their biggest adventure yet. Lil Gator Game teaches us the important lesson of embracing fun, no matter our age. The game's deep undertones and great writing are complemented by its cute aesthetic and impressive presentation. The cell-shaded visuals of the Autumn Forest look absolutely wonderful on the Switch, and the game runs smoothly. What sets Lil Gator game apart is its attention to detail. Instead of traditional weapons and equipment, you'll collect handmade crafts and household objects. Even the enemies you encounter are immobile cardboard cutouts, perfectly fitting the game's childlike world. It's a delightful experience that captures the essence of childhood imagination. A Short Hike This charming game allows you to explore a beautiful island at your own pace. As you play, you'll encounter little obstacles that may seem like roadblocks. However, the game provides you with various options to overcome them. This sense of freedom and exploration is what makes a short hike truly special. Even in the early stages of the game, you're able to venture out and discover new areas. You might stumble upon hidden treasures, collect seashells, or even find feathers that enhance your abilities. The game constantly challenges you, but in a way that feels rewarding instead of frustrating. As you ascend higher, the game introduces new gameplay mechanics and obstacles. Despite the increasing difficulty, a short hike never loses its cozy and relaxing atmosphere. Even if you accidentally fall down the mountain, you'll often find new areas to explore or a fresh perspective on familiar places. Our next cozy game recommendation is Wild Flowers. This game has a delightful simplicity that makes it suitable for players of all ages. It combines farming simulation elements with a life simulation and encourages exploration, communication, and even a bit of witchcraft. You play as young Tara, who decides to help her grandmother on her farm in the small coastal village of Fairhaven. The village is filled with charming and welcoming residents, each with their own unique personality. Talking to them and completing tasks will not only aid them, but also introduce you to different locations within Fairhaven. One of the main goals in Wild Flowers is to help Tara's grandmother revive the farm. Starting from scratch, you'll collect materials, construct farming equipment, and plant seeds to grow crops. As you complete tasks and interact with the villagers, you'll learn new skills and uncover secrets of the village.
Stardew Valley. This game offers a unique experience where you can live a second life and escape the troubles of the real world. From finding rare carrots to building your own farm, Stardew Valley is a real gem. It may seem like a simple farming simulator at first, but it's so much more than that. In fact, Stardew Valley is a life sim game where you can engage with a vibrant community and explore various activities beyond farming. It's the kind of game that requires time investment, and the satisfaction comes from the overall growth and sense of pride you experience as the days go by. If you're a fan of games like Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing, you'll feel right at home here. Our next cozy game recommendation is Fay Farm. This game takes the concept of home decor to a whole new level. Furniture plays a vital role as certain pieces can increase your health, stamina, and mana bars, allowing you to venture deeper into dungeons and cast spells. As the name suggests, Fay Farm has a touch of magic incorporated into its gameplay. Once you progress through the early chapters of the game, you'll encounter Fay business and experience magic in various forms. Mana is the game's currency, and is used to activate powerful tool abilities and perform attacks during battles. Fay Farm offers a plethora of activities to keep you engaged for hours on end. From crafting different items to completing various quests, there's so much to do. However, managing all these systems can be a bit overwhelming at times. With multiple crafting stations, seasonal crops, and different biomes, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Despite the challenge of managing everything, Fay Farm's charm lies in its endless possibilities and the satisfaction of building your own thriving farm. So, if you're up for a cozy and immersive experience, Fay Farm is definitely worth checking out. Crossing, New Horizons. This game takes the beloved Animal Crossing series and elevates it to new heights. With an abundance of activities, stunning visuals, and a sense of personalization, this game will keep you engrossed for hours on end. The characters in Animal Crossing are so well written that they truly feel alive. And let's not forget about the delightful island paradise where you'll find yourself gathering materials, creating furniture, and making your island your own. It truly is a masterpiece that was well worth the wait. However, there are a couple of minor gripes, such as the occasional sluggishness of the user interface and the absence of touchscreen functionality for custom designs. Nevertheless, these issues don't overshadow the overall joy and blissful experience that New Horizons provides. Next on our list is Disney Dreamlight Valley. This game offers a relaxing and heartwarming take on life simulation games with a touch of Disney magic. Despite a few technical hiccups on the Switch, Dreamlight manages to capture the charm and nostalgia of being a Disney fan. What sets Valley apart is the fresh interactions with in-game friends, which adds to its unique identity. The game also streamlines tasks that are usually tiresome in other life simulation games, making them convenient and enjoyable. However, there are some optimization issues that need to be addressed. Handheld mode suffers from camera stuttering and frame rate problems, while both docked and handheld mode experience menu lag and long loading times. These issues can be frustrating, but we hope that Gameloft will fix them in future updates. Despite these technical challenges, the overall experience in Dreamlight Valley remains frictionless, allowing for short check-ins or longer sessions of crafting and customization. Just keep in mind that there are a few non-Switch specific issues, such as the lack of item names when acquired and vague instructions in the quest tracker. Unpacking, 
a creative dollhouse game that combines elements from different genres. The controls on the Switch are superb, and the visual and sound design create a delightful experience throughout. Unpacking may seem repetitive at times, but it serves the purpose of the gameplay, which is to unpack all the boxes. Unlike traditional games that focus on earning points, unpacking offers a sense of direction without feeling monotonous. It's a non-game that still captivates your attention with its intuitive gameplay. The environmental storytelling is fascinating, allowing you to build your own scene and be a part of the character's life story. Moving on to Spiritfarer, a truly pleasant game that seamlessly blends platforming, exploration, and resource management. The world of Spiritfarer is beautifully realized, and you'll encounter a cast of charming and memorable characters along the way. The gameplay styles in this game complement each other perfectly, resulting in an evocative and endearing atmosphere. Although Spiritfarer is a long game, you might find it slightly repetitive towards the end. However, if it captures your interest, you'll want to see it through till the end. The game also incorporates elements of management sims, allowing you to expand your boat with various facilities and customize the layout according to your preference. It's truly satisfying to navigate around your own genius design. Power Wash Simulator. This game starts off small, with you cleaning a van with your own branding. But soon, you'll find yourself tackling bigger projects like cleaning a garden that hasn't been touched in ages. The gameplay loop is incredibly satisfying as you blast away dirt and grime and earn proceeds to upgrade your cleaning equipment. The performance is stable, albeit at a maximum of 30 frames per second. The only downside here is the slightly pixelated dirt cleaning process when you get in close, but it doesn't ruin the overall fun. However, the loading times can be a bit annoying, with some taking up to two minutes. But considering how immersive the gameplay is, you won't be bothered by them too much. The game even offers a Tomb Raider-themed DLC, which is free to download from the eShop. It adds more content to clean, and hey, who doesn't love free stuff? Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Everybody in the world blind 